Greetings fellow programmers, this is Pavel and this is part 3 of our exercise where we are doing some search algorithms and sorting algorithms and in this uh, part we will create a bubble sorting algorithm and a binary search algorithm. A binary search only works on a sorted list or sorted uh, array uh, so that's why you need to actually sort the array before you start uh, searching it using binary search. The one uh, linear search that we used before doesn't matter. We don't have to sort it. We're simply looking for uh, one number at a time. All right, so let's do, uh, let me see. That's the element two we're going to create now. So bubble ascending sorting. So we'll, from lowest to uh, to highest, so I already created the method from the video one. So now let's populate it. So how do you sort it? Bubble sort basically means as you go through the numbers, and when you you compare it, you uh, in this case you compare whether the number uh, a is less or, um, or greater than the number uh, after that. Since we are doing ascending from lowest to highest, we want the lowest obviously first. So if the the second number is less than the number before that, we want to swap them. So if I come over here and I'll say 24, is 24 less than 80? Yes, so leave it there. Is 24 less than 16? No, 16 is less than 24, so we will swap them. So the next time it's going to be 16 here, and we're asking is 6, and over here it's going to be 24. But we continue from the next one, but again, this is now 16, so we're asking is 16 less than 45? Yep. Leave it there, less than 78, less than this. And then we come over here, is 16 less than one? No, so we'll swap them. So 16 now is here and one is here. And at the end of the round, we have the lowest number uh, placed first. Then we move to the next one and do the same thing. We simply ask which one is less. And at the end of the round, the second less number, least number will be over here. So. Um, that's a fairly straightforward. So it's basically it's two uh, two loops. It's a nested loop. First, we are looking for a number from the uh, from the beginning of the list. So classic uh, for each loop. Except we don't go all the way to the end. We need to go number of elements minus one. And let me show you why. Because I don't want to go. Uh, to the end number, the n end, end, I just want to come here and ask is 23 less than 44 and then switch them. There's nothing after the last one so uh, if I came all the way here and ask is 44 less than the next one, there is no next one so you would be out of bounds so that's why we have to have a uh, number of elements minus one. And inside of it we'll do the second loop that will be basically in the first loop we'll ask about compare one number with all of these numbers so this is the outer loop so it will go 24 against 80 24 against 16 and so forth but uh, so this each loop inside of the of this loop will be the one element that we are comparing at the beginning it's going to be 24 after we compare it with all these numbers, we'll go and compare the next one, which is 80, and compare it with the rest of the numbers, and so forth. So over here, we'll do variable we'll C equals, and you don't start from 0, and you don't start from 1, because what you're starting from, is starting from the next number that you are comparing. So if this one's 0, then the one you're comparing is uh, 1. But let's say you already did several iterations, and now you're comparing, uh, you know, uh, this one. So we don't compare it with uh, with this one anymore. This one's already sorted. You're comparing to the next one in line. So it's basically what it means is uh, you're comparing it from a, I mean i plus one, the one after i, the the, the next one. And c is less than the number. Of elements this time we go to the end because we want to compare the last number as well with the one before that and uh, 
C++. And inside we'll simply do if our numbers of C, which is the next number, is less than the number before that, which is numbers I, if that's true, then swap them. So I will create a temporary uh, variable that will hold the numbers mm, I, that will simply be like a, like a placeholder. So now I can go and replace the numbers I with the numbers of C, in, uh, the index of C, and the numbers of C will hold the value that the number, numbers I had, which is now stored in the temp. And now the numbers are swapped. And that's bubble sort. Simple as that. So um, let's do the other sort, which is the selection sort uh, as well. Now selection sort works a little differently than the bubble sort in that it kind of divides the numbers into like a sorted sublist. What it got, does, uh, now in our case we're supposed to be sorting descending from highest to the lowest. So what it does, it simply goes and finds the highest number, in our case, from the whole list. So it goes over here and asks which one is the highest. This one the highest, is this one, uh, now it comes. Okay, this one's higher, uh, but is it is this? So now this one will become the highest. It doesn't swap them yet. So now it asks, okay, uh, is the next one higher than the, the one before? No, no, no. Yeah. So now we have a new highest, which is 120. It goes to the next one. Okay, this one's even higher. So when it comes to the end of the list, it will recognize that this is the highest number and place it at, uh, at the beginning, and then it moves to the next element and does the same thing with the remaining uh, numbers. So uh, again, as always, we start with the loop for i equals zero. i is less than the number of elements. And again, we don't go all the way to the end because we're comparing two numbers. So uh, we go to the one before last. And since we're looking for the highest number, I'll create a variable called highest. And at the beginning, I'll assume that uh, we always assume that the highest number is the one that we are, uh, that is already at the beginning of the iteration. So numbers i will be like the starting point for the, what, against which we'll be, we will be comparing the uh, other numbers. But we don't need. We also need uh, to kind of capture the index, the within the array of the highest number. Because even if we find out, okay, two hundred and thirty-four is the highest value, we also need to know that it's uh, one, zero, one, two, three, four, five, sixth position in the array. Otherwise, how would you know which index to move to the beginning now? So we need to capture that as well. And inside we'll do our for loop uh, for the, uh, I'll just do C equals, just like before it's I plus one, because we always move to the next number. Uh, and uh, C is less than the number of elements, this time not minus one, because we go all the way to the end and C plus plus. If this cause confuses you why this is minus one and this is not, again, let me just uh, remind you the first loop compares this as the last number with this one, which is actual last number. If you go all the way to the end, there's nothing after it, there's nothing to compare, but you still in the inner loop, you want to have this one included because otherwise you would just compare the same number to itself. So uh, that's our for loop. And uh, inside we will simply ask if the numbers of C is greater than highest. So we just found a new highest number. So simply remember which one is the highest. 
how high is now equals the numbers c and our highest index now equals the c which is the index that the uh, new highest number holds or is in so this is like get index if um, uh, would I put it if this is new highest number I guess so this is our for loop uh, that will find the new highest number with the highest uh, and remember the index of it so now we can simply swap them now if it happened that the highest number was already first with there's nothing to swap uh, it wouldn't matter but uh, I, I just do it as an in, in a conditional because if the I is not equal to the numbers of with the highest index in other words if it's not the same number that uh, it just happened to be uh, the highest right at the beginning then we will swap them so temp just like before numbers I that's our temporary and our numbers I Oh, my computer is kind of stuck. Uh, now equals the numbers with the highest index and our numbers with the highest index now equals the temp. So we swap them. But we do it, of course, after we already found the highest uh, for the iteration. And then we go again for, to the next number in line and do the same thing. So this is the bubble sort and uh, selection sort. And in the next video, we will conclude it with a binary search and implementing everything into our main method. So stick around and I'll see you then.